Welcome back, everyone. Remember Miss Avery, the patient of our last episode that we diagnosed with type 2 diabetes? If not, just click on the link on the screen so you can learn about her case before this episode. So, once we have diagnosed diabetes in our patients, how do we treat it? First, a patient-centered approach with shared decision-making is recommended for all cases. This basically means involving the patient in his own treatment plan, including considerations such as comorbidities, cardiovascular risk factors, body weight, side effects, hypoglycemia risk, costs, patient's preference, and social supports. Hence, every patient's treatment should be individualized. However, there are some general rules we can follow. For example, lifestyle management is a cornerstone therapy of diabetes. This includes dietary, physical activity, and behavioral education and counseling. In terms of pharmacological therapy, metformin is the preferred initial agent for type 2 diabetes treatment, unless there's a contraindication. Metformin has many benefits, including lowering A1C levels, reducing weight, and a general safe and inexpensive profile. Many times, however, patients might require combination therapies to achieve glycemic targets. Second agents should be chosen based on individual patient characteristics and preference. Remember, second-line therapies include GLP-1 receptor agonists, SGLT2 inhibitors, DDP4 inhibitors, insulin, and other agents. Keep in mind that for patients with severe hyperglycemia or catabolic features, insulin can be initiated or added to any combination regimen at any given time. We will discuss glycemic target in our next episode. I hope you all learned something new today and remember to share this video with your friends. See you next time. Thank you.